Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. It, is that you, Becky? Still asking me whether or not my hair smells? Look! Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl Zara, aka Epic Zara. And if you've never been here before, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. You know what's up, you know the drill, you're in on the secret. How you doing? <laughs> I'd like to sincerely apologize for Z's actions. Um, she's very upset about some things that we're actually going to address in today's video. Before we do, you guys should totally follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you don't catch my videos, that's where I'm at. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know exactly what you'd like to see next and if you'd like to see more Z Slay win in your life. <laughs> of course you do. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but never least, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time Zara posts a new video. Okay, without any further ado, let's get right into this riveting topic. Today we are talking about all the crazy misconceptions that other races have about our black hair. We actually even at times harbor these negative feelings towards ourselves. Now I'm trying to dispel all the hate and all the negativity because enough is enough. Yes indeed Zara, enough is enough. A lot of people seem to believe that natural hair is dirty. Now this has to be one of the most ridiculous assertions I've ever heard. I can't tell you all the amounts of Caucasians that have actually had the audacity to be asking me if I wash my hair like fam. You're smelling me, right? And you're smelling that I'm clean. Then obviously I'm also cleansing my hair and my scalp. Does that even remotely make any sense? When I was in school, people would just assume that I could not possibly be washing my hair because it was natural, it was in a fro, or whatever other natural hairstyle I felt like at the time. But I'm the type of person, I mean, I don't wash my hair super frequently, but I literally wash it once a week. Now, I cleanse my scalp, duh, and that's the primary reason for washing my hair, but my scalp doesn't get dirty quickly. A lot of people also assume that if your hair is relaxed, that you absolutely hate water in your hair. In fact, that's a general assumption, whether relaxed or or natural. Now I can understand where that misconception comes from. It's not convenient to be getting your hair wet if you just pressed it out or blow dried it. But if you're natural, water is not going to do anything but nourish your hair. If you're relaxed, I mean it's pretty much the same thing. Though it can be damaging and cause high growth fatigue to get your hair wet too often if it is relaxed. Of course, if you're wearing extensions, chances are you don't want to get them wet so that you don't have any issues with mildew. So the whole idea of avoiding water comes from maintaining health and cleanliness. So we're tossing that one right out the window. <laughs> Now the irony about white people consistently assuming that our hair is dirty is that natural hair is less susceptible to being dirty and less susceptible to the stereotypical indicator of a lack of cleanliness, which is life. So need I say more? Another really obnoxious misconception that falls under this umbrella belief that black hair is somehow dirty is that dreads are unkempt, untidy, and dirty. Like, that's ridiculous. Black hair in dreads is supposed to be washed regularly, like you're not getting dreads to be a bum. And maintaining neat dreads is typically a point of pride for black people all around the world. Dirty hair in the black community is an outlier, so fam. Do you all remember that episode with Juliana Rancid? opening her big mouth and telling people on E's Fashion Police, viewers across the world, that Zendaya's locks look like they smelled like patchouli oil and weed? Yes, teacher. Yeah, because I remember that like it was yesterday. It was absurd. And the perfect example of how ignorant the greater white masses in America are. At the time, Zendaya was 18 years old, but she was a class act with her response. If I recall correctly, she did not actually address Juliana. She put out a very tasteful statement. And she ultimately reminded us that black hair is more than good enough. So why am I talking about all of this? Black hair is not dirty, that's number one. And if you're finna lock your hair, you don't need to keep it dirty in order for it to lock. Now, the nature of our hair is such that if we don't comb or brush it, it's definitely going to lock up. Washing it, cleansing it, maintaining cleanliness is not going to hinder that natural process. Now, I mean, if you have straight hair, Chances are you can't wash your hair, it's not gonna lock up. I'm pretty sure if anybody has dirty locks, it's all the people appropriating that culture. 
If we want to talk about other celebrities that are more inclined to be putting their feet in their mouth, I think we can't do that without mentioning Wendy Williams, who had the audacity to be saying, filthy rich Travis Scott has smelly hair, most likely. You look at his hair, it looks neat all the time, and he has a lot of money, and he's flipping the baby daddy of Kylie Jenner. Like, is his hair gonna be stinking in the whole 2019? This is the stuff that actually pisses me off. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, wow. What a... Z, you cannot say that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, somebody had to. Anyway, I didn't know. So all of that aside, Wendy Williams needs to be worrying about her own hair first because it high key never looks good. A lot of non-black people seem to believe that natural hair does not grow. Now this is one of the most obnoxious and ridiculous things I've heard in a long time. Of course natural hair grows, all hair grows. Like, come on Becky. The reason our hair in particular appears to be stunted is because it's naturally coily, curly, and kinky. So shrinkage comes into play, but if you stretch it, you will see that it is long. You take the spring, you stretch the spring out, but the spring goes back into place. It's really not difficult to comprehend. So to you out there watching this video, if you have natural hair, it is growing. Yes, it's growing, sweetheart. It's growing, my love. If you actually are not seeing a change in the length, then try changing up your regimen. Your hair may be breaking off at the rate that it's growing. And I've experienced this before in my own natural hair journey. You can check out my other videos, obviously, <laughs> to see how I was able to get over that growth plan so but yes boo boo your hair is growing there is no such thing as long natural hair you know that part in the bible with the pigs and the demons and the demon said we are called legion because we are many well this is also legion because the myths about how long black hair should be are legion there are so flipping many that you can't even keep count there are so flipping many Again, if you want to see how long black natural hair is, you have to stretch it out. It shrinks up, y'all. So your hair could literally look like a TWA when it's completely shrunken and stretch all the way down your back if you pull on it a bit. You cannot truly determine the length of any natural haired individual's hair without stretching it. Each head of hair is completely different. Some of us have very kinky, beautiful 4C hair, while others of us have loosely curly hair that takes a lot less to see the length. So, I mean, it's ridiculous to maintain these very fallible beliefs that natural hair can never be long. That's silly, fam. That is very silly. It also does not make sense to try and measure natural hair when it's within a corner or a twist. No, you need to stretch it out fully from root to end in order to determine exactly how long it is. Now, to be very fair, genetic plays a huge role in how long our hair can grow, but there are many, many naturals with hair down their back. They're here on YouTube, and they're even off of YouTube. There are people that have long hair that take care of their hair and do what they can to ensure that their hair reaches all of its growth potential. It's extremely unfair, and even more than unfair, ridiculous, to undermine the potential of natural black hair. Natural hair and afros are the norm across Africa. See, if this isn't one of the biggest lies I've ever heard in my life, I don't know what is fun. <laughs> These misconceptions about Africa need to stop. Just like we're not living in huts, just like we're not chasing lions on the regular, not everyone is here for the natural hair movement. The natural hair movement in Nigeria and Africa as a whole is actually in an earlier stage than it is even in the States. It only began to gain traction here after it gained a whole bunch of traction in the States, y'all. So natural hair is still fairly new to this environment. And though there are many in this environment that are stands for sure, it's still something that is not necessarily the norm. And it it never was previously. Though of course many people are embracing their hair now, just know that it took a lot of time. Prior to modernization and colonization, there were many braided, twisted, locked, you name it. <laughs> Styles all across the African continent. As we were steadily inundated with propaganda from the West, we gradually lost certain aspects of our culture, but thankfully there's been a revival of much of that. So what am I saying y'all? Afro and natural hair are not necessarily standard. There are hundreds of ways to grow and maintain curly hair. And again, there are thousands, millions actually, of people who do not keep their hair natural. You are a Rastafarian if you have locks. Locks are actually an African concept. They were being exhibited here in a variety of ways across the various ethnic groups of Africa for thousands of years prior to them being exported to the Caribbean. Now, this is not me trying to be like, oh, the Caribbean doesn't have anything. No, of course not. I'm merely trying to dispel this myth 
that having locks is somehow associated with Rastafarianism. And people that practice the religion themselves are well aware that locks are not exclusive to Jamaica. It is believed that the Rastas actually got their lock from around 1935 when they saw Ethiopian soldiers fighting the Italians and their hair was matted and long and locked. They also vowed using Samson's example from the Bible that they would not cut their hair until Rastafari Makonin, aka Hali Selassie, was liberated and returned from exile. Country 2. Now again, I'm not 100% sure of the validity of these assertions. This is just a story, a tale. It may actually be the truth, but there are a few other tales that highlight the origin of lock in Rastafarianism. But do know that locks are, again, all across Africa in various ways. Woo! So that was a doozy, but I'm very tired of answering ignorant questions. I know that the world will say, ah. Yes, there is a such thing as a dumb question. If you ask me if I wash my hair, that's a dumb question. Like common sense should be common enough for you to know that we are washing our hair. So if you are tired of answering questions, just send this to the next person that tries to try it because we might as well band together. So do you all want a part two? Because I mean, there's still more tea to sip and I have plenty more points to share, but I felt like this video would be super duper long if I did that. So you need to comment down below and let me know, share with me anything you have to add and get this video to 2000 likes. So I know that you guys want to see more of this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They're linked right up top, right over here. And again, the four simple things I always remind you all to do. Be sure to comment down below. Again, letting me know if you all have anything to add because we may as well make this some sort of like educational resource so everybody knows not to be asking these dumb questions. <laughs> be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to share it with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but never ever ever least, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. Thank you guys. God bless you all. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.